like to show you a different way to manage your accounts and toggle back and forth between your teacher account and your, your open class student account, so to speak, or managing your courses in the student environment. Um, you can use an incognito one. You can even use another browser. You can use Chrome and say Firefox and log into two different accounts that way. Um, I would highly recommend sticking with Chrome and using that. And I want to show you an easier way than using an incognito window because every time you do it you have to log in again. So a couple things. This could be a slightly um, more Google than you wanted to know about, or but here's some Chrome tips. But to do this, there's a little bit of setup involved, but I think once you do it, it's, it's worthwhile. So here I am, I'm in Chrome, right? I've got my mail, I've got my documents, I'm actually signed in to my Leiden account. So when I go to you know, Google, I can see that I am signed in my Leiden 212 account. All right. What I'm not right now is signed into Chrome, and that's a little bit different. What you're able to do when you sign in with Chrome, you can set it up so wherever you open Google Chrome and you're signed in, it's going to sync everything. It's going to sync all your applications, your extensions, your bookmarks, whatever. It can even sync your tabs. So these tabs that go across the top, if you have a number of tabs going across the top in one computer and then you go home on a completely different computer, if you're signed in to Chrome, it'll even open those tabs up. Pretty cool. So, and it tells me I'm not signed into Chrome. I'm missing out. Sign in. So I will do that. So you can go to your wrench. What you need to make sure is you've got an up-to-date version of Chrome. And they keep changing it. Um, I'm going to take a look at where I am. All right, I have version 18, and by the time you watch this, it's probably going to be version 21. But as long as you have a reasonably up-to-date version of Chrome, 18 or beyond at least, you should be good. If you're not, talk to tech. They'll update Chrome for you. It's worth it. So anyway, now that's taken care of. Now what I want to do is go into either I can sign in. Or excuse me, I'm going to go to um, my settings tab. I went to the wrench to settings and I'm going to go to my personal stuff and I'm going to sign in to Chrome and it just asks your email so I'm going to sign in with my Leiden email and it's my same email and password that I use every day and it says it securely syncs your data with your Google account so keep everything synced or customize sync data types and encryption settings, I'm going to sync everything. All right, so I am signed into Chrome, whatever that means. Well, what it means is if I go to another browser in another computer and I go to my Chrome there and sign in once, it's going to sync everything. Now, here's where the multiple accounts happen. You have to be signed into Chrome, which I am. See, I'm signed in as mstorsley at leiden212.org. But what you can do, again, going to your wrench and into your settings, and it's going to take me right back here, but that's how you get here. Um, you can actually, under personal stuff, see where it says users, I'm the only Google Chrome user? Well, I'm going to add a new user, and that is going to be my student account, my account in the student domain, and I'll show you why that's going to be cool. So, my student account is now signed into Chrome. All right, what's the big deal there? Well, I want to show you what happens. I don't know if you can see up in the top left, there's a little musical note. That's, this is my student account. I'm going to pop over to my regular Leiden account. There's a little ninja. It's assigned me a little icon there. You can always change that, by the way. But um, I've got two different users, Leiden Current, Leiden Student. All right, so what? Let me show you this. I'm going to back out of Chrome completely and just start from, from scratch. So I don't have anything open in Chrome, but if I do, it opens up. And if I go to this little icon, I can pop back and forth between my adult account 
and I can go into mail, I can go to calendar, I can go to, you know, documents, whatever. More importantly for this, I want to go into my open class here. And here's my student account. Same thing. I can go to Google, go to mail, whatever. But I'm in my student account, and again, that's where you, for your student account, or your account in the student domain, you're still a teacher, but this is where you manage your actual live courses, and that's where you'll interact with your students. So you can pop back and forth all you want. Here's my adult student account, adult student account, and you can pop back and forth, and you can do that all day long, and you don't have to log in anymore. It takes that login every day off the table. Just a little quick thing, people are going to want to know, how can I change that icon or whatever. Um, you go to your wrench, to your personal stuff, and whatever one you're, you're currently logged in. I'm here in my Ninja, and I'm not going to change that, but if I wanted to. I could go in and change the name, I could change the icon. Same thing if I don't like that musical note. I can go to my settings, to my personal stuff currently looking at the window of my student account and I do want to edit that and maybe I want to make it a cheeseburger and it changed it to a cheeseburger so anyway just a different way probably a more efficient way a little more setup up front but it might help you toggle back and forth and just use um, use Chrome better on a daily basis